I'm with Nibal Thelagia from St. Martha's House, now Nibal. What is St. Martha's House? St. Martha's House, daycare center and club for ladies, uh, work here in Bethlehem as an elderly daycare center that constitutes social, physical, uh, emotional section and aims to promote them and uh, to be in care of them, especially whose uh, families are unable to provide them and to support uh, them. Why are you called St. Martha's House? From the Bible of the Christian. How were you started and when were you started? We started in 2010 and by uh, donation by uh, Friends of the Holy Land and good actors uh, who can uh, help us and Franciscan uh, Church. What's your mission here? The mission here to uh, take care of ladies, to connect with others and uh, to speak uh, with uh, other la uh, ladies and to, uh, to communicate and to uh, encourage them uh, to be live and to support them uh, not to be alone. Uh, the mission here is uh, to help and encourage uh, the all elderly people in Bethlehem to provide a safe and uh, to living uh, environment to encourage them separately and physically and emotionally. Are many old people alone in their homes? We have 35 women uh, in the home and also 35 women in their home. We can uh, give her meals and medicines and uh, vitamins and something like this. And what projects do you do with the elderly here? If it is here uh, is uh, when they coming at eight o'clock morning, they have breakfast here, and uh, after that they praying in the Bible and discussion uh, stories uh, in the Bible with others, and um, after that they playing tombola bingo, they playing cards, they uh, making uh, some sports, playing sports also, and at twelve o'clock they have a lunch, then they go to the to the home with the minibus here. Is this very important for them to be able to come here and share with other people? Yes, it's very important for them because uh, all of them uh, are widows and uh, being alone and uh, have sons uh, uh, can't uh, be uh, to take care of them and don't have budget or money to take care of them. And some of them are also don't have sons and live alone. So here when they coming, they connect with each other. They forget what the difficult sessions, difficult problems what they have. So for some of them it must be a very lonely life. Yeah, yeah, it's difficult for them to be alone uh, because they have, don't have anyone to take care of them. And here she, uh, they are uh, uh, discussion problems and discussion stories and take care of others and to encourage them to be lives more and more. So with all these elderly ladies here from the Holy Land, I imagine they have lots of different stories to tell. Stories of the ladies here, we have many difficult stories for the ladies. One of the newest lady, her husband passed away and her situation is very difficult. She, was, uh, she has pressure and diabetes and she came to the house four months ago. Uh, so uh, we gave her meals, medicine, vitamins and everything we can give her. Another one, uh, her son is sick in cancer and she lives alone also and no one help her and uh, help uh, her uh, son. He has a family and kids, uh, he needs medicine and that special treatment for uh, because he has a cancer and we ha just give her a meals and vitamins for, for her. I imagine some of them have lots of stories as well because you know you've been through 48 and 67 wars and uh, it was Palestine and then Israel came in so I guess there's lots of different stories about what people have been through as well. Okay, uh, we have here uh, Sonia Barham. Uh, she was born in uh, Bejela also in uh, 1920. Uh, there was safety and tranquility until the war uh, Nakba occurred in uh, 1948. Uh, she got married to a man who has a carpenter and she lived in a small house. She gave birth to three sons and one daughter and the life uh, there was difficult. She had uh, to walk meals to fill our water uh, packets from the town's well. So is it easy being elderly in Bethlehem? I imagine um, there, in some ways there, there can be a burden on the family. Yes, it's very important uh, the, for the elderly people here. Uh, women's and men's, for, it's very important because the government here is not paying uh, any for uh, the ladies and the women's. But the government in England paying for uh, every person for uh, 65 is. So it's very difficult. Is there a lot of loneliness within the elderly in the community? Loneliness for elderly, yes. It's most of them is widows and uh, no one here uh, have uh, someone to live with them, all of them uh, being alone. Mm.
So they just sit in the house alone, so this is why this is important for them yeah, to come here. It's very important for them and uh, uh, very important for ladies because uh, one, someone said one time, uh, I'm very thankful for you because uh, my muscles being uh, moves for uh, smiles. <laughs> And is Christianity important to the home? Yes, it's important, Christianity, because uh, all of the ladies here are Christian, and uh, the Christianity is small than Muslims here. And uh, we have, uh, we need something like uh, St. Martha's house to communicate them, uh, to encourage them to being with the others, uh, Christianity, and, uh, and uh, the donations here by uh, Franciscan and uh, Friends of the Holy Land uh, uh, Church. Do people from the church come to visit them as well? Yeah, yeah. Most of them coming, uh, going to the church. Uh, yeah, one of the priests here coming uh, for one month and discussion in a Bible and discussion story for them and uh, praying with them. And uh, are you planning more homes? I heard that you were planning one for men as well. Uh, we're planning to make uh, a home for men's, but the budget now, it's not forbidden for us to make uh, something like this. But in the future, uh, if we can, uh, yes, why not? Mm -hmm. And how are you funded? Does the government pay anything to help you? No, no, uh, just uh, giving from the churches and good actors and, uh, and other uh, people can uh, give for us. Mm. And how many people come to visit the home? Uh, how many ladies? Uh, 35 ladies coming here and 35 also outside in the home. They do doesn't come, so, uh, so they, uh, we will send it uh, meals and uh, medicine and uh, activity, uh, vitamins. So not only do they come here, you go and visit them as well? Uh, yes, we go to visit with the ladies uh, one per uh, month or uh, two months when we can. I imagine that's very important for them as well, for you to be able to go and visit them because they're lonely in their homes. Yes, it's very important uh, to support them, to be with, uh, to uh, encourage that we, we are with them and uh, we uh, provide them in uh, meals in any other we can. So what's your prayer finally for the elderly here in Bethlehem? Uh, we pray here for the ladies uh, not to be alone and to be encouraged with sons and neighbors or anyone close to here. And uh, the government also should take care of all of the responsibility for them and to pray for them for uh, medicines, for treatment, especially treatment, uh, and especially who, had, who is over 65 years. Okay, Nabila, thank you very much. Welcome. <laughs> nice to meet you.